time for some Corey Evan Explains the Universe! I'm Corey, I'm Corey Evan, and this is Corey Evan Explains the Universe. Now, Bigfoot, some of you know him as Sasquatch, they describe Bigfoot as a large, hairy, ape-like creature ranging between 6 and 10 feet, weighing over 500 pounds, and covered in dark brown or dark reddish hair. Now, they say it's ape-like, so I'm thinking it must be an ape. That's just me, though. Now, they say about a third of all Bigfoot sightings are concentrated in the Pacific Northwest, you know, along uh, Washington and Vancouver, those sort of places. And there have been a whole bunch of others throughout North America. At least they claim that they saw throughout North America. There have been a whole bunch of famous ones, like in 1924 when Fred Beck claimed that he and four other miners were attacked in uh, July t of 24 by several ape men who threw rocks at their cabin. And in an area later called Ape Canyon, Washington. And this was uh, widely reported at the time, and Beck later wrote a book about the event in 67. Also in 1941, Jeannie Chapman, I hope I got that right, and her children claimed to have escaped their home when a large Sasquatch, about seven and a half feet tall, approached their residence. In 58, there was Jerry Crew, who operated bulldozers, when he took to a newspaper office a cast of one of the enormous footprints he and other workers had been seeing at an isolated work site. 67, there was Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin, I hope it is, reported that on October 20th of that year, they captured a purported Sasquatch on film at Bluff Creek, California. And just three years ago, in September, the 16th day of September, Hunter Rick J Jacobs, excuse me, captured an image of a possible Sasquatch using an automatically triggered camera attached to a tree. Now, if you ask me, I don't know exactly where he lives, and I don't know if he eats humans or bananas or whatever apes eat, but if Sasquatch is real, and I don't think he is, he probably doesn't really go for humans. If sharks don't like the taste of humans, I don't think apes do either. And all these sightings, there's actually notes along these that just say to me that all of these are fake. And I mean really fake, like... In response to Fred Beck, speleologist William William Halliday argued in 83 that the story arose from an incident in which hikers from nearby cat camp, excuse me, the tongue works faster than the brain, folks. Now, he said that in 83, the story arose from an incident with hikers from a nearby ca camp, excuse me, the word camp is getting me, and they say that they had thrown rocks in the canyon. The 58 story, it's... Wallace is poorly regarded at, by many Bigfoot proponents. 67, many years later after that, Bob Heron, Her Heronimus, I hope I got that right, an acquaintance of Patterson's, claimed that he had worn an ape costume to make the film. And three years ago, that was likely an image of a bear with a severe case of mange. Basically, so many different sightings, so many different ways to explain them as being fake. And that's what I think. I think that all of these are fake. Bigfoot is some made-up legend that people keep telling over and over again just to scare people. Makes for a good Halloween campfire story. But other than that, it's just not real. Unless you can actually show me one, like put one in a zoo or something an especially designed enclosure or something so that you can keep the creature safe and the viewer safe. I just don't believe that there's really such a thing as Sasquatch. I'm sorry if I offended those who believe in Sasquatch, but until you can show me concrete evidence that he's actually real, I just can't be convinced until then. It just seems too far out there, like outer space really. Unless, unless Sasquatch is actually an alien creature that's come here from the planet Nudnik. That'd be a scary thought. But yeah, that's just me. I'm Corey Evan, and this has been Corey Evan Explains the Universe. Oh my gosh.
Corey, you still got it. That was an excellent explanation of the universe. Dude, he was on top of that one. <laughs>